Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the weekend, over the last couple of days, there's been reports doing the rounds online where apparently Google is using your emails stored in Gmail to train its AI models like Gemini. And obviously this has caused quite a lot of debate and a lot of interest. So I thought I'd just post this quick video just to get us all on the same page. Now, according to a post over on X, Gmail has denied any claims regarding this, stating that it does not use any Gmail content to train Gemini and that it has not modified anyone's settings to enable this behavior either. So if we head over to that post, this is Gmail's official account over on X. Gmail and Google say, let's set the record straight on recent misleading reports. Here are the facts. We have not changed anyone's settings. Gmail smart features have existed for many years. We do not use your Gmail content to train our Gemini AR model. And we are always transparent and clear if we make changes to our terms and policies. And this has got over 262 replies. And some of those comments are quite interesting. So that's according to Google. Although obviously there have been reports doing the rounds over the last couple of days saying just the opposite. Now, if you are concerned that this is true, even though Google and Gmail say it isn't, then if we head back to Gmail, you can, to some degree or the other, turn off smart features in case you are worried about privacy and obviously feel a little bit different to what Gmail has said in this post over on X. So how we would turn off smart features in Gmail is we would head to our gear icon in the top right, our settings, click on that, click on see all settings, and here on the general page, scroll down for where you get smart features. Here we go. And we can see this is turned on by default. Turn on smart features in Gmail, chat and meet. When you turn the setting on, you agree to let Gmail chat and meet user content and activity in these products to provide smart features and personalize your experience. You would toggle that off. Okay. Then you'd have to turn off and reload, which I'm just going to do quickly for the purpose of this video. And then quickly head back into your settings once again. And you can see before we do that, that Gmail is already put a banner here telling you to turn that back on. So interesting stuff. So let's back, go back to see all settings, scroll down to smart features. And then yeah, Google Workspace smart features. Click on the toggle. And here you'll see two settings. The first is Smart features in Google Workspace. When you turn the setting on, you agree to let Google Workspace use your workspace content and activity to personalize your experience across Workspace. This is turned on by default. Toggle that off. And smart features in other Google products. The same applies. Toggle that off. Save. And that should, to some degree or the other, disable any smart features that possibly could be sending data back to Gmail and Google to train its AI model. So I thought I'd just get us all on the same page. Google says it's not. But if you are concerned, that's how you can disable those smart features if you are using Gmail. And if I get any more news, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.